सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू द न्यू एम सी क्यू वीडियो सीरीज ऑफ क्लास नाइन एंड हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू डू ट्वेंटी एम सी क्यू रिलेटेड टू द मोशन चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास नाइन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग आवर टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट सो हेयर इज द क्वेश्चन वन अ बॉडी हुज पोजिशन विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू सराउंडिंग दिज नॉट चेंज इज सेट टू बी इन ए स्टेट ऑफ रेस्ट मोशन वाइब्रेशन ऑसिलेशन एंड इट्स आंसर इज ए दैट बॉडी इज इन रेस्ट In question two, vector quantities are those which have only direction, only magnitude, magnitude and direction both, none of the above. If you need more time, then just pause the video. And its answer is C. Now question three, what is true about scalar quantities? Scalar quantities have direction also. Scalar can be added automatically. There are special laws to add a scalar. A scalar have a special method to represent. and its answer is b so now question 4 examples of vector quantities are velocity length and mass speed length and mass time displacement and mass velocity displacement and force and its answer is d and now question 5 which of the following is not characteristic of displacement it is always positive it has both magnitude and direction it can be zero its magnitude is less than or equal the actual path length of the object and its answer is a now question 6 si unit of displacement is meter meter by second meter second none of these and i think you all know that same as distance and is meter now question 7 which of the following is not a vector speed velocity weight acceleration If I want to do this chapter, just read the chapters once again, and its answer is A. And now question eight: Time is an example of a scalar, vector, a scalar or vector, neither a scalar nor vector. And I think you also know time is a scalar quantity, and option A is correct. Now question nine: In five minute distance between a pole and a car changes processively. What is true about the car? Car is at rest. Car is in motion. Nothing can be said with this information. None of the above. And its answer is B. Now question ten. A distance is always positive. Is always negative. May be positive as well as negative. Is neither positive or not negative. And I think it's A. Yes, answer is A. It's always positive. Now question eleven. When a body covers equal distance in equal interval of time its motion is said to be non uniform uniform accelerated back and forth and its answer is uniform motion and option b is correct now question 12 the motion along a straight line is called vibratory stationary circular and linear and any motion in a straight line is called as linear motion and option d is correct Now question thirteen. A particle is traveling with a constant speed. This means its position remains constant as time passes. It covers equal distance in equal interval of time. Its acceleration is zero. It does not change its direction of motion. And option B is correct. Now question fourteen. The rate of change of displacement is speed, velocity, acceleration, and retardation. And you have read the chapter, and it is known as velocity then option b is correct now question 15 unit of velocity is meter second meter per second meter second square none of these and option b is correct meter per second now moving to our question 16 the assigned unit of the average velocity is meter per second kilometer per second centimeter per second and millimeter per second and It's assigned unit is meter per second because both are the assigned unit. Area between speed time graph and the time axis gives a distance, velocity, speed, and none of the above. And I think you all know that the answer is distance. Option A is correct. Now question eighteen. Unit of angular velocity is rad meter per second. Rad by second square. Rad by second, and its answer is D. Now question nineteen. Uniform circular motion is an example of 
variable acceleration, constant acceleration, both A and B, none of the above. And its answer is B, constant acceleration. Now, last question, 20. Rate of change of angular velocity refers to angular speed, angular displacement, angular acceleration, none of the above. And I think you all know that the correct answer is angular acceleration. Now we have done with all the 20 questions and just check the playlist for the more MCQ related to the physics class 9 and just subscribe the channel and like the video and share with your friends to help them. So meet you in the next video. Thanks.